Hello Pathfinders, All Stars, Comets and Sparklers. I'm Rachel and I'm in Pathfinders. Last week we saw Thomas not believe his friends when they said Jesus was alive. He should have believed his friend and it's a true story about seeing Jesus. But Thomas did not believe until he saw Jesus face to face. We gave you a challenge last week to send in a video. The challenge was to send us three mini stories. One of them had to be true. Here are your videos. Hi guys, I'm Clara and um, me and my three factions, you have to guess which one is true because two of them are false. Number one, um, I've watched Frozen 2. Number two, I've watched Star Wars. Number three, I love, my favourite food in the whole wide is... <laughs> Hello, my three facts are one, I've sailed in a submarine, two, I've sat in a spitfire, and three, I've spent the night in a super yacht. one of these statements is correct. When I was younger, I broke my collarbone whilst running down the stairs being chased by my sister. Number two, I once got lost in an Ikea store and was found under a children's bed. Number three, I am an or orange belt in judo. Number one is false because because I did fall down the stairs, but I didn't break my collarbone. Instead, I got a big bruise on my head and also I sprained my ankle. Number two is correct because I was found in an IKEA store when I was younger and I was found playing under a children's bed. Number three is wrong because um, I'm not an orange belt in judo, I'm the next one up a green belt. Hello, one of these statements is true. Uh, number one, I speak three languages. <laughs> number two, I gobbled up a fly. <laughs> number three. Uh, number three, I gobble up ten marshmallows at once. Number three is false. They're tiny. They're tiny. I could eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> number two is false. It's true. Konnichiwa. Bonjour. Hello. Hello. Well done with those different stories. I wonder if you managed to guess which one was true each time. Here are some of the activities you've been up to this week. Keep having fun at home with your Bible stories, crafts, baking and more. This week's challenge is super fun. The challenge is to wiggle like a fish for as long as you can. You have to lay on your front and with your arms and legs raised, you have to wiggle like a fish. To show you how to do this, we have Ed, Caroline and Hattie trying this challenge. How long will they manage? Hi everybody. So you want to know how long I can wiggle for like a fish? Whose idea was that? Did I think about the sharks? Did I think about the jellyfish? Did I think about all those horrible bits of plastic that are in the ocean? <sighs> anyway, I love swimming, so I'm going to see how long I can wiggle for like a fish. Are you ready?
swimming around like a fish looks really crazy. I wonder how long you can last. Send in your videos for next week. In today's true story, Jesus' followers were in a boat trying to catch some fish. Listen to what happens. Hello everybody, I am Michelle from All Stars. I am reading John chapter 21, verse 40, 40 from the International Children's Bible. Early the next morning, Jesus stood on the shore, for the followers did not know that it was Jesus. Then he said to them, friends, have you caught any fish? They answered, no. He said, throw your net into the water on the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they did, so they did this. They caught so many fish that they could not pull the net back into the water. The followers whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord, when Peter heard him say, This, this. He wrapped his coat around himself. Peter had taken his clothes off. Then he jumped into the water. The other followers went to the shore in the boat dragging the net full of fish. They were not very far from the shore, only about 100 yards when, when the followers stepped out of the boat and onto the shore, they saw a fire of hot coals. There were fish on the fire and there, were, there was bread. Then the Jesus said, bring some of the fish that you caught. Simon Peter went into the boat and pulled the net to the shore. It was full of big fish. There were 153. Even though there were so many, the net did not tear. Jesus said to them, come and eat. None of the followers dared to ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them. He also gave them the fish. This was now the third time Jesus showed himself to his followers after he was raised from the dead. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Joy's sermon for the adults is about this and when Jesus speaks to Peter on the beach after they had eaten. In your resource packs, there are some questions to talk about with your parents. There are also lots of activities and games to have fun with. And now for this week's memory verse video. It's by a whole family of St Nick's. Here are Phil, Kate, William and Francesca. Thank you, Rachel. Good morning, St Nick's. This is Family Hour. Woo! Right. Let's get on with the video. I, this is a, welcome to our vegetable patch, where God blesses us with wonderful food. I really like our lettuce here. I love eating it. Um, I am waiting for our raspberries. They're gonna be probably here in Three, four weeks. So today we don't have hip hop skills um, and we're not very current with that kind of music. We love what Kate and Hannah do. What we can do is a more acoustic version. We've got a very simple and short verse to teach you. No excuses for not remembering it. Um, and William's going to help us understand what we're going to do next. So, we it, the verse this morning I'm, we're going to read is from John 21 verses 1 to 14. We're only focusing on the one verse today, and that is verse 14. And what's that about? It's about when Jesus asks his disciples to come and eat with him, and they accept his invitation because of the miracles he's performed by letting by telling the fishermen to fish on the other side of the boat, and they caught loads of tons of fish. And then what did they do? They celebrated and ate with him. Fantastic. All right, so what we'll do is we'll... Let's we'll, get on with the song. Yeah, let's do that. But what we'll do is we'll break the song into two parts. Uh, the first part will focus on 
helping us remember the book, the chapter and the verse that we're focused on. And the second bit, we'll focus on what Jesus said and how the disciples responded. Sound good? All right, I'll take that as a yes. All right, yes, so yes, the first yes. bit, yes, yes, the yes. first bit goes like this. It's John it, Hang on, I'm not started yet. It's John, John chapter 21. Chapter, chapter 21. 21. Just but one verse. And that's, and that's 14. 14. All right, easy. Should we try it again? Yep. It's John chapter, chapter 21. 21. Just one verse, and that's 14. Good. All right. And then the second bit, where we focus on what Jesus said and how the disciples responded, goes like this. Come and eat. Come and eat. Said Jesus. Said Jesus. So they did. So they did. And they knew that he was Lord. Should we try that again? John. Uh, no, no, no. Second bit. Right. Come and eat. Come and eat. Said Jesus. Said Jesus. So they did. And they knew that he was Lord. Okay, good. So, shall we fasten it all together now? So we can yeah. show all of it? All right. So it goes. John chapter, chapter 21. 21 Just one verse And that's 14 John chapter, chapter 21. 21 Just one verse And that's 14 Come and eat Come and eat Said Jesus, said Jesus, so they did, and they knew that he was Lord. John, chapter 21, chapter 21. just one verse, and that's 14. It's John, chapter 21. Just one verse, and that's 14. Come and eat, come and eat, said, said Jesus. Jesus. So they did, so they did, and they knew that he was Lord. And they knew that he was Lord. John, chapter, chapter 21. Just one verse. And that's 14. John, chapter 21. Just one verse. And that's 14. Come and eat. Shall we go? Thanks for helping us learn God's word with that great memory verse. Let's finish this week's video with a prayer. Dear Father God, thank you that you give us everything we need. We can trust you. Help us to know and obey when you are talking to us, just like Peter did. Even when we don't know what's going to happen next, we have faith that you will work it out. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Bye!